Listen, I'ma get it, you know I be on the way Grace and peace to you, fellow Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. And before I start, I'm not a pastor, an elder, or a deacon. I'm just a regular individual who loves to read the Bible every day so the people out there get the same encouragement to open up your Bible, read your Bible, study your Bible, and always ask questions of the Bible. Now, today we're going to embark on Ruth chapter 3. This is Ruth and Boaz at the threshing floor. Now, I'm going to read every single thing because I think it's worthy of this chapter to be read. So, we're going to go and put on my old grandpa glasses on and we're going to start reading from here. So, chapter 1, I mean uh, verse 1. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, my daughter, should I not seek rest for you, that it may be well with you? Is not Boaz a relative with whose young women you were? See, he is winning barley tonight at the threshing floor. Wash, therefore, and anoint yourself. And put on your coat and go down to the threshing floor, but do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. But when you, when he lies down, observe, observe the place when he lies, then go and uncover his feet and lie there, and he will tell you what to do. And she up replied, All that I say I will do. So she went down to the threshing floor down and did just as her mother in law has commanded her. And when Boaz had eaten and drank, and his heart was merry, he went in to lie down at the end of the help heap of grain. Then she came softly and uncovered his feet and lay down at the midnight. And the man was startled and turned over. And behold, a woman lay at his feet. He said, Who are you? And she answered, I am Ruth, your servant. S spread your wings over your servant, for you are a redeemer. And she said, May you be blessed by the Lord, my daughter. You have made this last kindness greater than the first in that you have not gone after young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, do not fear. I do not. I, I will do for you all that I you ask. For all my f fellow ten townsmen know that you are a worthy woman, and now it is true that I am a redeemer. Yet there is a redeemer near than I, nearer than I. Remain tonight, and in the morning, he will redeem you. Good. Let him let him do it. But if he he's not willing to redeem you, then as the Lord lives, I will redeem you lay down until the morning so she lay down in his feet until the morning but arose before he could recognize another and he said let it not be known at the at that the woman came to the threshing floor and he said bring the garment you are wearing and hold it out so she held it and he measured out six measures of barley and put it in her put it on her then she went into the city and when she came to her mother-in-law she said how did it how how did you fare my daughter then she told her all the man did done had done for her saying these six measures of barley 
he gave to me for he said to me you must not go back empty-handed to your mother-in-law she replied wait my daughter until you learn how the matter turns out for the man will not rest but will settle the matters today now that is so beautiful he how much he gave he gave like six measures of grain like that's a lot during that time and he gave it to his mother-in-law like here you can grab this you, you can both both of you guys eat this it was beautiful to see all that man and plus and plus i love this this verse and this is my devotional and he said maybe be may uh, and he said may you be blessed by the lord my daughter you have made the last kindness greater than the first in that you have not gone after young men whether poor or rich she was a good woman she was a good woman faithful loyal and um i think every woman should read ruth and i think every christian should read ruth because how the grace and mercy that god gives us he's doing it bows at boaz is doing it to ruth and his mother-in-law her mother-in-law and it's great to see so i'm sounding off if you need any questions or you have any questions or prayer requests please leave it down below and may the grace of our lord jesus christ keep you and bless you amen hallelujah maranatha uh.